So now we'll have a look at simplifying and factoring. Okay, we'll start with the idea of simplifying. In mathematics, simplifying simply means um, eliminate brackets. Okay, so get rid of brackets. And brackets usually means we are multiplying something into the bracket. We'll get to that a little bit later. And then secondly is to add up things then that can be added. Add up things that can be added. I will leave, leave it there. Add up things that can be added. That is what simplifying means. Okay. And um, a basic example would be something like this. We have 2x plus 3. In this case, we want to first eliminate the brackets. Now what brackets means is that whatever is being multiplied to that bracket is being multiply should multiply every term inside of that bracket and we call that distribution so the 2 is not just multiplying the bracket but it's multiplying every term inside of the bracket what that means is now we have 2 times x and we also have a 2 times 3 and this can be simplified a little bit more as 2x plus 6. Now what is factoring? Factoring is just the opposite. Instead of getting rid of the brackets, we actually want that bracket back. So in this case, we, s we look to see if we can find what was the value that was distributed to every term. So we see these two terms. Each of the terms can be divided with a 2. So a 2 must have multiplied each of them. So we used to have a 2 and if we divide a 2 into every term, we are left with x plus 6 divided by 2 is 3. And you'll notice we're back there. So uh, simplifying and factoring are opposites of each other. Where simplifying tries to eliminate brackets, factoring tries to get back those brackets. In simplifying, we have one term. You'll notice this is one term. And the reason why it is one term is because brackets count as a unit. Okay, you should consider brackets as one thing. So that's one thing. It's not x plus 2. It's one thing that's being multiplied with a 2. So here we have two factors, a 2 and an x plus 3. Okay, so, um, and they are just factors because they're multiplying each other. One of the factors, the bracket factor, consists of two terms. But in a, as a whole, this is one term. So simplifying takes one term and usually gets more terms out of that one term while factoring is the opposite it takes multiple terms like here we have two terms and makes one term out of that with multiple factors a two and a bracket factor okay now with that in mind let's look at a little bit more complicated example so let's imagine we had x plus one x minus 4. Remember what bra bracket says again is that whatever factor is in front or at the back of the uh, bracket must be distributed. Now here we see if we look at this bracket we have in front of this bracket another bracket. So all we're going to do is distribute that whole bracket to every term inside the other bracket. So what do we get? We get x times x is x squared So what do we get? We get x plus 1 times x and then x plus 1 times the negative 4. So x plus 1 times the negative 4. And here we see the same thing again. We've got now a bracket that is being multiplied with an x. So we're distributing that x to every term inside. So we have x times x is x squared and x times 1 is x plus, well here we have a negative 4 times x becomes negative 4 x and negative 4 times 1 becomes negative 4 and now we notice that these two terms are alike they are, there's one x and here we owe four x's so that becomes x squared minus 3x 
minus 4. Okay, and this is again we see we took one term that consisted of two bracket factors and we simplified and we were left with three terms each term consisting out of factors itself. Okay, so let's look at a little bit more complicated example that is going to help us understand something. Let's take x plus any number. So instead of writing a number, let me make that an a. And another x plus another any number, let's call it b. So a and b can be any numbers. And we're doing the same thing again. We're going to take this bracket and distribute it to every term in the other bracket. So we have x plus a is distributed to the x and we have that x plus a is distributed to the b. Okay, same thing again. Now we distribute the x and the b inside these brackets. So we have x squared plus ax plus bx plus ab. Okay, and again we see, okay, here we have an x and there we have an x. So if we knew what a and b was, let's say it was a 1 and a 2, then we could have said 1 plus 2 would give me 3 x's. So what I would have done to add these two terms that has x's is I would have just added their coefficients, the a and b. So I'm just going to write it like this and it should make sense. Okay, a plus b, I'm going to put that in brackets, a plus b. So that's what I'm going to do, add those two and then multiply it with the x. Okay. And you see actually what I did is I took out the x as a common factor. Plus and then end the two numbers here would give me a, b. Now what I've done here is actually to show you a, a sneaky trick on how to multiply out two brackets very quickly. Okay. So what do we notice? When we have two brackets with an x plus a number and x plus another number, then eventually it simplifies to this. All I need to do is take the number in this bracket, the plus a, okay, the a, and add the b to get what should come in front of the x term. And then if I take a and I multiply it to b, I will get my constant term, in other words, the term without the x. So let's look at a few examples. Okay, we've just done x plus 1, x minus 4. So if we use this, let's see if we get the same answer. Okay, we know it's going to be x squared plus, and now, plus 1 minus 4. Okay, so I'm adding these two numbers. a is plus 1, b is minus 4. Plus 1 minus 4 gives me negative. So that shouldn't be a positive, it should be a negative 3x. Okay, now I multiply the two. Plus 1 times negative 4 gives me negative 4. Okay, was that the answer I had before? Yes, it's exactly the same answer that I got before. So this is kind of a sneak, quick trick, but don't use it if you don't fully understand it. Let me do a few more. Okay, how about x plus 2 and x minus 5? Okay, let's make it plus 5. So here we get x squared, and now for what comes in front of the x, we have to add these two numbers. 2 and 5 gives me 7. So we have plus 7, and then for the last term, we have to multiply them. Okay, you notice how a is multiplied to b, and 2 times 5 is 10. So, plus 10. There we go, if I multiply these two out using the longer method, I will get exactly the right answer. Let me do one more for you. Okay, let's make both of them negative numbers. So, one a negative 2, and the other one a negative 3. Okay, and here we get x squared and now, if I take negative 2 and negative 3, I get negative 5x. If I take negative 2 times negative 3, I get plus 6. And there we go. This is a quick method.